Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to look at the share menu. And in particular, we're going to look at producing your video and uploading to screencast.com. Now before we actually go through the action, let's visit screencast.com. And when you visit screencast.com, you're going to notice that whether or not you are a customer of Snagit or Camtasia, you can actually use screencast.com. And let's take a look at the pricing. What you're going to notice is that you can either start off with a free account that'll give you at least two gigabyte of space and two gigabytes of monthly bandwidth. Now that's not a lot if you're going to be serving video files, but it is enough to get you started so that you can understand how it's going to work with your business. Of course, if you want to start an account with screencast.com, it is $9.95 per month or $99 per year. Now, if you don't have an account with screencast.com, you probably want to start one that's going to be associated with your Camtasia program. So you can go ahead and sign in or you can sign up for a free account. Now you'll have several uses for your screencast.com account, some that will be associated with the use of Camtasia, some with the use of the program Jing if you use it, or even some with the use of the program Snagit if you use it. So screencast.com is a place where you can upload TechSmith files and you can use them in any way that your business dictates. So screencast.com is one place that we can use to how our produced videos from Camtasia, as well as to use the smart features, such as quizzing or interactive hotspots. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go to the share menu, and we're going to produce this video on screencast.com. So we're just gonna click this link. And what you're going to notice is that you will need to sign in to screencast.com. So wherever you have your screencast.com account, going to want to put your name and email address in there and your password for the account. You can actually sign up for an account here through Camtasia. So if you haven't done that already, you can do it. You can use the Remember Me feature. so You don't have to continually put your email address and your password in every time. You can put it in actually once. Okay, so now that all of this has been pre-populated, we're going to go ahead and click the Next button. Now what's going to happen is Camtasia is going to access your Screencast account. It's going to have all of your folders by drop down menu. It's going to actually give you some options to produce your video so that you can produce these videos with options. In this particular case, we don't have quizzes, but we could if we had quizzes. We could upload our quizzes. We could upload our table of contents, and we have them. So, all of the elements that are part of the smart player that we would typically have to produce locally, we can actually upload to screencast.com and have them work just as if they were local files. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click Finish. We're gonna assume that you have chosen the right screencast.com folder. Default folder is going to be Camtasia Studio. However, you can choose whatever folder you like inside of your screencast.com account. What we're going to do now is we're going to click Finish. And then the rendering process will start. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to stop the video. And we're going to come back at the end as the video is completing its rendering process. Okay, so our video is completing and it will get to 100%, and then it will begin the final processing, and it's going to open up and then upload to screencast.com. So you'll see we're getting to 100%, and then it's going to now upload, as you can see now, to screencast.com. And when that process is complete, our browser is going to open, and our video will be automatically uploaded and it will automatically open to the place in screencast.com for us to be able to watch our video. What you're also going to get is you're going to get an embed code, which you can place on another website. So you can take this entire code by clicking the copy button. Once it's copied to the clipboard, you can then take this and put it on another website. What you can also do is if you want to pass on the URL to someone, 
you can copy the URL and this will give them access to the video that we just showed you in the previous screen. Okay, so that is uploading your videos to screencast.com. And remember, screencast.com is a place where you can actually upload your quizzing, you can upload your surveys, you can upload anything that you'll need to have with a smart player, such as interactive hotspots, and have them work. Typically, if you were to upload those features to another place, there'd be no way to upload the smart player so they wouldn't work if you uploaded them to YouTube or Vimeo or even to Google. However, screencast.com, you can use all of those features along with the video that you produce. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.